Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a lot of people that get into intermittent fasting find that they feel really good whilst in the fasted state and then there's some people that can start feeling sick or their energy levels drop or they just find that mentally or physically in one way or another they're just not feeling good. Which I found that so many people that have got into intermittent fasting and find these type of symptoms come up, come up on to my YouTube channel, start watching my YouTube videos, and then tell me about certain symptoms that are going on for them in the fasted state. And a lot of the time they say they have to break their fast a lot earlier than they want to, or they have to give up intermittent fasting altogether because they just do not feel good in the fasted state whatsoever. So, there is something that I would recommend to people that are not feeling good in the fasted state, and that is salt water, and not with refined salt, because that has been stripped of all of the beneficial nutrients. A lot of it has had dextrose added to it and certain anti caking agents that are based from aluminium and other things that are just not good for you whatsoever. So the reason why it would be really good for people to do this is some people can feel absolutely not good whatsoever whilst in the fasted state. And for a lot of people, they can feel quite weak and their mind just doesn't start to work quite so well and all the other symptoms that I mentioned earlier on and this can be due to an electrolyte in balance because obviously when you're in the fasted state you're not eating loads of different foods that are giving you an abundance of electrolytes and some people have some severe mineral deficiencies going on already and then when they're in the fasted state they're not getting all of those different minerals and then it can make you feel really really bad so this is why some people can feel good whilst in the fasted state without sea salt water or some sort of electrolyte drink that is not going to break them out of the fasted state because they do not have some severe mineral deficiencies already going on. So for people that really need the electrolytes, the best way to do it, which is a very natural source of electrolytes, is from unrefined sea salt added to water and then obviously mix up together. And you just don't want to be using any type of sea salt out there because what a lot of people don't realize is a lot of these so-called healthy salts out there are refined sea salts and this is something that I only learned quite a few months ago and when I went to a health store when I was in Malaysia about three months ago I saw so many types of different sea salt in there and I knew that so many of them were refined sea salts and you can really easily tell with them because they're very very dry actual unrefined sea salt should still have some moisture to it so once you actually get used to what pure good unrefined sea salt looks like you can really determine which ones are refined and which ones aren't and there is still an issue with a lot of the different unrefined sea salts out there a lot of them do actually have small plastic particles within them because there's such an issue with plastic in the sea so there is only specific companies that you can trust that can guarantee that they have no plastic particles in their sea salt whatsoever and i've done loads of research into this and the best one that i can find is by redmond's and it's their redmond's sea salt and you can anywhere in the world get this delivered to you i get it delivered to me from the united states of america to thailand where i live and this is a amazing tasty salt which when you compare refined sea salt or table salt compared to this salt it just tastes amazing and makes them taste like garbage so even if you're going to be using this in your food it's going to make your food taste a lot better as well so if you're interested in this there'll be links down below for uk us and worldwide suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality redmond sea salt to your door and this has no dectrose in it whatsoever no additives no anti-caking agents and it's not been stripped of any of the beneficial nutrients contained within it and once you have got this what you want to do is get around a liter of water which for americans that's around a quart of water and then add anywhere from a quarter to half a teaspoon of the salt to the water make sure you shake it up very thoroughly let it all dissolve down and then all you do is drink that throughout the day do not drink it all at once if you drink it all at once it's not necessarily going to make you feel good and it could give you diarrhea but if you're drinking it throughout the day you will not get those issues and for a lot of people they may do better with a low amount of salt some people may do better with a high amount of salt if you're someone that's sweating a lot 
or someone that's stressed out a lot in the day and that's quite busy or you're exercising a lot or doing saunas and other various things that can deplete electrolytes at a more rapid rate then you would want to use a higher amount of salt but it's better to start off with a smaller amount see if you're okay with that and if you feel desire for more then you can do this and so many people will find that it makes it so much easier to do daily intermittent fasting and actually fast for a longer period of time if you want to which i've mentioned so many times on this channel the longer that you fast for the greater all the hormonal benefits are such as the increase in testosterone glucagon which is a fat burning hormone insulin dropping human growth hormone going up insulin sensitivity being improved and a whole host of other amazing benefits that you get from intermittent fasting just massively increase the longer that you fast and if you're someone that wants to see some scientific research and proof about what i'm stating with fasting longer and getting more significant benefits i made a video recently called the magic of intermittent fasting starts to kick in at around the 12 hour mark and I have this full graph there that shows the longer that you fast the greater the benefits you will get from intermittent fasting so if that interests you I'll put a link for that video up above and you can click it now and if you're someone that's new to intermittent fasting I actually have the complete guide on intermittent fasting that talks about everything you need to do and not to do to get the full effects from it because there's a lot of people that make a lot of common mistakes and they're just not necessarily knowledgeable on intermittent fasting to make it work the best for them so they can get the full effects from it but this video will make sure that you learn everything you need to get intermittent fasting work for you to give you the full effect so if you haven't seen that video i put a link for it up above and that is known as the 16 8 intermittent fasting method that is the most common method but if you're someone that wants to get the greatest benefits you would want to be doing one meal a day which i've talked about so many times on this channel and i did it in the past for around seven months and i got amazing benefits from it so I have a lot of knowledge on this subject and a lot of my own personal experience so what i do is I also put a link for a video up above called how to eat one meal a day which again just as with the 16 8 intermittent fasting complete guide video this one meal a day video will tell you everything that you need to do and not to do to get the full benefits from this longer type of fasting known as the one meal a day diet so that's it for this video if you have any questions on anything that i've showed you today in this video leave them down below and i get back to you as soon as possible and if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down i don't mind and please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about the content i showed you today in this video in relation to intermittent fasting and how you can stop any negative effects or a lot of negative effects that could be coming up that make it harder for you to fast or other people that are getting into intermittent fasting and even maybe share it some people that want to get into intermittent fasting and get it to work the best for them and just make them feel the best that they can feel whilst in that intermittent fasting state so they can sustain it long term and also short term as well and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more informational videos from me on specific subjects such as intermittent fasting one meal a day calisthenics weight loss also what i eat and do in a day videos calisthenics workout and progression videos and so many other different videos to share with you so much valuable and effective information to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body side the fitness levels and the energy levels as well like i've managed to and many people that have followed my advice through my youtube videos that i've shared on this channel time and time again so if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go get those gains peace